and this is my remote control, okay? I send the signal from here, okay, from here, and signal goes to where? Goes to this antenna, okay? And this signal is now going into my, into my computer, okay? That's how I can remote control my, uh, my computer. Okay. This is my second one. Okay, this is kind of expensive one, two hundred dollars. And I had a little cheaper one, about hundred twenty-five dollar one, and it was working fine. I was very happy with them. And one day it's not working. The first one, you know. Huh? I was so frustrated, and I couldn't figure out. Everything looks, seems to be fine. But I had to give lecture. Anyway, I need this, right? So I had to order, you know, uh, and to uh, send me a Federal Express, right? So I ordered this. It came next day. And it was some kind of instructions, you know, how to use. And one of the instructions says, do Please do not put this antenna close to the electronic in a machine. You know. I was putting antenna too close to the speaker, you know. So I went there, I <laughs> and I I what I put far away from the Speaker, we had one of speaker here, right? Two speakers, both sides. And I put that antenna right next to the speaker. That antenna was receiving what? Signal from speakers, interfering speakers. That's why my real signal is not reaching to the antenna. You know what? This is depression, you know that? <laughs> this is depression. You have too much of what? Interference. Yeah. Interfering signal is what? Interrupting, interfering the real spark to get into the computer. So that's why I end up having two <laughs> remote control. So now I have a good lesson, you know. Are you too close to the speakers? <laughs> right? See, this is the problem. See? Yeah. So many people are so close to the speakers making so much noise. Worry about that. Worry about this. Worry about your children. Worry about your daughter. Worry about your grandchildren. Worry about you. Yeah. All these noisy signals come. And you have no time to be able to what? Really receive the real spark, which will give you what? Power, you know, and activation of the genes and so on. Right? So, having this concept, it went, if you have this concept solidly established in your mind, then you're now ready to read the Bible, really. Bible talk about this. See? Yeah. Of course, the speakers are the what? The Satan and his angels, right? <laughs> Evil angels. They speak to you. Constantly they speak to you. They are indeed speakers. Yeah. Yeah. But you must hear what? Prophets, right? <laughs> yeah. Not just speakers. Yeah. Speakers without prophecy, you know? And those are the speakers. And uh, <clears throat> so, the spark is so important. Then you can understand so-called, we call it emotional a problem called the depression. And then you can understand the whole thing. There are so many people are living with the speakers. Speakers speak all kind of thing into their mind. You know? yeah. 
And they are not truth. They are not truth. They, many people believe in what? It's a false speaking. See? So that's why it is important to know the truth. To know the truth. You know, it is very important that you need to resist the speaker's noise, okay? Which comes to you, make you worried about something. Which come to you, make you angry. Which come to you and make you doubt, you know. If you sit there, just listen to that speaker speak, you are in doubt, you are hopeless. Mm. Uh, uh, mm. What? Spark is continually what? Going down. You have to preserve the spark by refusing to accept what? This noisy speaker's signal. Especially, see, I, 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 I really stress this point to the many cancer patients. Because cancer patients are really scared, you know? They're scared. When they're with other people, you know, then Oh, well, not so scared. Why? Because when you have this kind of group together, you feel very safe, you know. Why? Because uh, those speakers don't make that much noise. Because you don't have time to hear that, you know. Because you, you're busy to hearing what? Talking something good. See? While you're doing so, speakers does not speak that much. But when you become so close to speakers, even though in the group you're not listening, you're what? Listening to the speakers, really. Yes, that happens. See? You, don't, you cannot pay attention. You simply keep on paying attention to what? The speakers which you're so acquainted <coughs> with. Yeah. This you need to extraordinarily refuse, really. If you don't refuse, it's yours, <laughs> you know. It's free. <laughs> yeah. It's a free gift. Yeah. And it's going to harm you. Think about this. Even a what? Artificial, fake, positive imagery can do some good to you. How much harm can it be done by receiving those harmful speakers' noise, right? Compared to this, see, each other. You know. That's why on this basis, you must what? Positively refuse. Okay? Positively refuse. It is very hard to refuse, believe me. You know? Very hard to refuse. You need to put extraordinary spiritual effort, really. Yeah. Otherwise, when you're sitting all by yourself and having cancer in your body, you know, do you know what's going to happen? Whenever you feel <coughs> something you ate, you know, lunch is uh, not digesting well, <coughs> then suddenly Satan says what? Speaker says, your cancer is spreading. <laughs> oh, it can go your brain, you know, go to your brain. <laughs> and then you can go down to your liver. Oh. Then, you, then you are positively what? Imagining under the instruction of the instructor called Satan. Can you see that? He is an excellent instructor to give you what? Dreadful positive imagery to injure you. Yes. This is great controversy. Don't participate. Don't give yourself into that. See? Really? See, people, people just think this is natural. This is nothing natural. This is what? This is all what? Spiritual manipulation, my brothers and sisters, really. You're being what? 
manipulated. See? See? If you can really understand this, wow, wow, this is right. I have been manipulated so long time. Okay, what can I do? You know, this is new beginning. See? You need to positively refuse. Okay. Okay. So you know what happened to many women, you know? Uh, many cancer patients, especially with uh, like you know breast cancer, you know. Breast cancer is very damaging, right? Emotionally. Why? Because you are violated severely as a woman, right? Because this is a symbol of woman. You know, become cancerous. What a emotional what trauma, isn't it? Right? Yeah. Uh, even though medically speaking, this is no you know, no longer in use, right? Yeah. However, emotionally speaking, in, in terms of what? Meaning-wise, this is very important. You know? yeah. So the meaning has been damaged. Yeah. Okay? And that's why when the meaning is damaged as a woman, then there's lots of noise coming from speakers, you know. And uh, especially, it can make you what? Doubt your husband, right? Yeah, it's very interesting. I hear that all the time. Yeah. And then uh, cancer is spreading. And then Satan says, when you, Satan think, when he captured you enough, then he began to tell you a lie. Do you know where your husband is? <laughs> it's terrible. You know? And this happens to almost everyone who's suffering with the cancer, you know, struggling with the cancer. You don't have to have a cancer to be suffering, <laughs> you know. Boy, do you know what to do? Yeah. You have to positively fight against it. This is an extraordinary fight, really. You know, there is an immune cell called T cells, right? Okay, this is cancer cell. And this is T cells, a surrounding cancer cell to attack cancer cell. Okay. And these T cells are very sensitive to what you feel. You know? So, and the scientists found out there's another different kind of cell called the natural killer cell, similar to the T cells, but they're a little bit different. Uh, Natural killer cell work like this. Uh, this is the NK cell, natural killer cell. This is cancer cell. They were what? They are fighting, oh, it's what? They, they, they're excellent in what? Contact fighting. Okay. And so they're expert, these natural killer cells are expert in, in uh, stabbing cancer cells to death. So, this is knife. They produce this knife inside them, you know. And then they stab <laughs> and cancer cell punctured. Look at that. See? Yeah. And the, the liquid content of cancer cell is all spilled out and cancer cell is dying. So, this, this natural killer cell, you know, uh, uh, is expert in what? In contact killing. And uh, there are many e uh, interesting experimentation in terms of uh, 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 finding out how T cell and natural killer cell works. About uh, 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 ten years, about ten years ago, yeah, about a little bit less than ten years ago, and it became very popular uh, 
for the, uh, the doctors are using something called positive imagery therapy. Okay? Positive imagery therapy. What it is is when they found this natural killer cell, we can measure the activity of natural killer cell in the laboratory. So what they have done was they collect cancer patient, okay, and then they will make those cancer patients have positive imagery. So what they do is usually about 12 cancer patients in one group, okay, they gather in a nice room, quiet room with a very excellent, you know, a, a, a sound system, you know, and they used a lot of sound to create what? Positive imagery. Okay. And so they say, you know, they give a little lecture how a natural killer cell can kill the cancer cell. You know. Then they say, you need to imagine about this. You know. So how they do? Uh, they make them hold hand, close their eyes, you know. Then they turn on CDs. The beautiful music comes, and then gradually it is fading in to the ocean wave sound, and then, and then this instructor says, "Now you're at the quiet beach. I want you to imagine that you are on the beach. The skies are blue." Beautiful day. Water is calm. An occasional sound, you know, wave comes and breaks. Then, way back in background, there was a sound. Seagulls. There's a seagulls coming, flying. And that seagulls are your natural killer cells. Then the sound of seagulls become more and more. So many, you can't even count them, you know. Then, then suddenly there's some, you know, sort of disaster. All kind of noise. What ha what's happening? Seagulls are catching the fishes. You know what the fishes are? Your cancer cells. Yeah. So they got together. Oh, like that. Positively imagining. <laughs> you know, there's a, quite a few studies done this way, okay? Then after that, so they measure the activity of the natural killer cell before the positive imagery and after the positive imagery. They can definitely demonstrate in the laboratory after the imagery, the natural killer cell activity increased. And cancer is shrinking. Do you know why it is not being done now? It didn't last that long, you know, because as, as you go to them, as a cancer patient, repeat. You know, it, it becomes silly, you know, silly each time, right? Uh, I'd rather do it at home, you know. <laughs> what? What's, what's going down? The meaning, meaningfulness is becoming less and less. Why? Because it is not what? Because it is not the truth. It's not real spark. It's a fake spark. Our genes, as I told you yesterday, can respond to the what? Fake too. If you applied meaning, good meaning to it. See? But it cannot last. To last forever, you have to have what? A real, solid, true meaning. Right? Yes. Yes. So, that's why we're doing this New Start program. You know, 
when you know the truth, wow, I see. Then you have to choose not the fake spark. Have to choose what? True spark, yeah. Something will last forever, Amen. right? Which will never change because time passed, right? 